Palestine has been very much on the agenda in Parliament um, this week. Um, and on Monday, um, we had the boycott, divestment and sanctions uh, bill, a second reading of that. Um, and I have to say that, that I was appalled by many of the comments and speeches. Um, it really did feel as if we were going back to the 1970s, 80s, um, where we were um, fighting against the apartheid regime in, in South, South Africa. And I am pleased, and it was a matter of conscience for me, that I had to vote against that bill in its entirety at second reading. And it is the latest example of the shrinking space for freedom of expression in the United Kingdom. And it is an attack on democracy, and it rides roughshod over the um, devolved nations, as well as local authorities. Um, it is a direct threat, an attack on freedom of speech in this country because it bars public authorities from taking action and even making any statements of policy. Um, so they're prohibited from doing that and, under this appalling bill. And it is going to suppress campaigns such as um, the Palestine Solidarity campaign but it goes wider than that in terms of justice and accountability across the globe um, on a wider range of issues from pollution to the environment to violence against women and, and children.